Ancient civilizations had access to lost technology that was so advanced that we cannot recreate it today. In this video, we explore the fascinating history of some of the most innovative and remarkable weapons and technologies from the ancient and medieval world. From Greek fire and Archimedes heat ray to Damascus steel and Mithridate, we delve into the creation, use, and theories behind these awe-inspiring advancements. Greek fire was an incendiary weapon developed by the Byzantine Empire and used in naval warfare. The exact composition of the mixture is unknown, but it was said to burn fiercely and could not be extinguished by water, making it an effective weapon against the Empire's enemies. Greek fire was primarily used in naval warfare, but it was also employed in sieges of coastal fortifications and on land as a flamethrower. It was projected from bronze tubes mounted on ships, known as siphons, and could be directed in a continuous stream onto enemy ships or fortifications. The weapon was highly effective and could burn even on water, making it difficult for enemies to extinguish. In the early 8th century, the Byzantine Empire faced several Arab sieges of Constantinople, and the use of Greek fire played a crucial role in repelling the invaders. For example, in the first Arab siege of 674 to 678, the Byzantines successfully defended the city by using Greek fire to burn the Arab fleet. In one famous incident, the Byzantine general Manuel Icomnenos used Greek fire to ignite the sails of a Venetian fleet, causing panic and causing the Venetian ships to turn back. There are several theories about the composition of Greek fire, including petroleum, quicklime, salpetri, and various other flammable and or reactive substances, but none have been conclusively proven. Some sources claim that the formula was a closely guarded state secret and was known only to a few individuals. Regardless, it cannot be recreated today. Known as the universal cure, Mithridate was an ancient poison antidote believed to have been invented by Mithridate VI, the king of Pontus in the first century BCE. It was a mixture of various herbs, minerals, and chemicals that was taken regularly in small doses to build up immunity to every existing poison. The exact composition of Mithridate is not known, but it is believed to have contained ingredients such as opium, hemlock, and myrrh. The mixture was designed to counteract the effects of various toxic substances, including those found in plants, animals, and minerals. Mithridate was used by Mithridate VI as a way to protect himself from assassination attempts. He is said to have taken the mixture regularly to build up immunity to poison, making him less vulnerable to attack. The use of Mithridate spread to other cultures and was used as a remedy for poison by both royalty and common people in ancient Greece, Rome, and the Islamic world. Recreating Mithridate today is difficult because of the lack of knowledge about its precise composition and method of preparation. The original recipe has been lost, and the descriptions that have been handed down through the centuries are often inconsistent and unreliable, making this wonder drug lost to the ages. The Archimedes heat ray, also referred to as the death ray, is a legendary weapon said to have been invented by the ancient Greek mathematician and inventor, Archimedes. The weapon was said to harness the power of the sun to create intense heat and potentially set fire to enemy ships or structures. The idea behind the heat ray was to use a series of large, concave mirrors made of highly polished metal to focus the sun's rays onto a single point. These mirrors were positioned in such a way that they could be aimed in different directions, giving the weapon the ability to target multiple enemy vessels at once. Although there is limited concrete evidence to prove the existence of the Archimedes heat ray, the concept was described by several ancient writers, including the Roman author Vitruvius. In his book De Architectura, Vitruvius writes about a weapon used by the Greeks to set fire to Roman ships during the siege of Syracuse. It is believed that this weapon was the heat ray invented by Archimedes. The historian Polybius, who lived during the 2nd century BCE, also mentions the use of a similar weapon during the siege of Syracuse. According to Polybius, the weapon was used to set fire to Roman ships, causing panic among the soldiers and contributing to the defeat of the Roman army. Despite the historical accounts, recreating the Archimedes heat ray today is challenging due to the limited information available on the specific design and construction of the mirrors used. 
The mirrors would have had to be made of highly polished metal, and it is not clear what type of metal was used or how it was polished. Damascus steel is a type of steel that was used to make swords and other weapons during the medieval period. It is known for its distinctive pattern and exceptional strength, sharpness, and durability. The steel was named after Damascus, the capital city of Syria, where it was made and traded during the Middle Ages, spanning from the 5th to the 15th centuries. Damascus steel is created by welding together two or more different types of steel, creating a layered pattern in the metal. The exact composition of the steels used is not known, but it is believed that high carbon steel was combined with low carbon steel to create a steel with the desired properties. This was an ancient form of nanotechnology, a type of technology not recreated until the 1970s, over 1,500 years later. Damascus steel was used to make a variety of weapons, including swords, daggers, and axes. The steel was highly valued for its strength, sharpness, and beauty, and Damascus steel weapons were sought after by soldiers and warriors throughout the medieval world. Today, it is difficult to recreate Damascus steel because the exact process and composition of the steel are not known. The process of making Damascus steel was a closely guarded secret, and the knowledge was lost over time. Despite their impressive achievements, the exact processes used to create these technologies and their composition remain largely unknown, making it difficult to replicate them today. These ancient innovations continue to captivate us with their mystery and ingenuity, reminding us of the enduring impact of human creativity and resourcefulness.